just want to kind of wrap up this piece of it um, without going into the details of the interaction and how it works. So, I've taken a picture. The callback function gets called. I do this stuff. I go and output the image. And then I have to tell it that I have to somehow tell it the name of the image that I want to add to the slideshow. Because let's watch the action of what happens here. I go here to take a picture. I touch, the touch event fires off. It takes a picture. All right. The callback method on the camera gets called. I get the toast method, and it automatically goes back to the slideshow editor, and that picture is added there. All right. So this gets done. All right. We've saved the file. We have to tell the file the name of the file. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to tell the slideshow editor the name of the picture that we've just added, right? And that name is slideshow plus the current time in milliseconds. So that could be anything. We have no idea what that name is. So we somehow have to pass data back to the activity. And in this case, we do it via a return intent. We create that return intent, and we save as data the URI, which effectively is the file name, the file path, the file name, the full file name, however you want to put it. So we create this intent. We set the return intent to be this URI. And then we say that that intent represents the results of this activity. So we set the results, we pop up our toast message, and then we finish. This is a little different than other activities, because in other activities, we simply, um, we did some things when our activity finished, when we started an intent, and we did some things when an activity finished. But here, we're actually passing back to the first activity another intent that contains the results. In other words, the, the output of what happens gets sent back to our edit, our slideshow edit activity in the form of this return intent and some of the data that's passed or the data that we're passing back represents the URI of the picture. That way, that guy knows the URI of the picture and therefore can add it to the slideshow. And in fact, if we go and look out here, we can likely actually see in our pictures folder pictures that I've taken. And there you can see there's the last one I've taken with the name of slideshow underscore and then the time is represented in milliseconds. Okay. Any little piece of this is fairly straightforward. All right. The complications come in sort of two forms. One is the fact that there's a lot of little pieces. And the second is the fact that the pieces need to talk to each other. All right? This is in such big contrast to the first kinds of computer programming I did. First kind of computer programming I did, you had a program. It was a big program with a lot of stuff in it. And it did everything. It was pretty much 
are self-contained. Here, we're working with components, we're working with little modules. And some of those modules we haven't necessarily wrote, right? We haven't wrote any, we haven't written anything that deals with the camera, right? We're using the methods in the framework, but we still have to figure out a way to talk to those methods and to talk to um, those things and to have all our activities coordinate with each other and talk to each other. So that glue that holds those together is critical. So that's really what I want to focus on um, as I go through these examples. Any questions at this point? All right. Um, next time, uh, we will talk more about this. We'll either go in more detail with this or we'll get into that tracking application. All right.